Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung says that the government must be prepared to make tough calls amid uncertainty and ambiguity. It's one of the key takeaways during the COVID-19 pandemic, which he said severely tested the government. Tan Hui joins us live now for more on this. So Hui, the Prime Minister mentioned several takeaways from the COVID-19 pandemic. Can you tell us what they are? Now, if you remember, in the early days of the pandemic, many major decisions had to be made. For instance, in the handling of the migrant worker foreign dormitory crisis, as well as the implementation of the home recovery program. And ministers had to judge on the next best uh, cause of action based on incomplete information. That's why Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung says that one of the lessons that was born out of the pandemic was the ability to make tough calls. For instance, at the start of the pandemic, uh, the authorities had to decide whether to allow as many Singaporeans to be infected by the virus and eventually gain herd immunity. But eventually they decided that this was too much of a gamble as many human lives would be lost. So they, they eventually decided to close the border as well as implement strict measures as what we know now, the circuit breaker period. And so Mr. Lee says that Singapore successfully avoided as many deaths as possible. And so this was a success. But he said that over the last two years, there were some hiccups. So let's hear what he had to say. We didn't get every call right. We've had our share of challenges and setbacks these past two years. But the key is to keep on learning and improving. And as we discover more information, to be prepared to update, revise or even reverse our decisions. Now, other lessons learned during the pandemic was the need to look beyond immediate issues and needs and to anticipate as well as plan ahead. And he also urged public service officers to not only think of ideas and conceptualise them, but also to be able to execute and implement them well. Now, Sahwi, Mr Lee also talked about this need for renewed trust. Tell us why that's important and, and how perhaps trust in the government can be strengthened. Now, integral to these lessons learned is the trust that Singaporeans have in the government. I mean, if you remember, a lot of these decisions were made on behalf of Singaporeans by the government. And we could see that they eventually were able to abide by these a lot of these decisions. As we can see during the vaccination drive, a lot of Singaporeans went ahead to be vaccinated. And so... Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung said that a lot of these will not be able to be done if not for the trust that Singaporeans placed in the government. So let's hear what he had to say. This trust is precious. To continue to build and nurture it, we must have a top-notch public service with capable and committed officers, possessing the right ethos and values, dedicated to serving Singaporeans responsibly and honestly to the best of your ability. We need first-class minds, able to grasp and tackle complex interconnected problems and come up with creative ideas and workable solutions. But we also need a first-class team, cohesive and mission-oriented, focused single-mindedly on getting the job done. A vital ingredient, Mr Lee says, that the public service must work closely with political leadership. And amid renewed leadership, he calls for renewed trust in the leadership so that this sets the foundation for the next generation of leaders for Singaporeans to rely on and trust on. And this sets Singapore in a strong position to go ahead in an uncertain world as well as tackle challenges effectively. Sahui, thank you very much for that. Tan Sahui there reporting.